Hi, you guys. Welcome to Cancerian Chronicles. We're going to jump into the energy of Cancer. If you are uh, dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn, this could be for you if you happen to be dealing with a Cancer. So let's go ahead and let's see uh, what we have. Cancer. Oh, geez. Okay. So we have, um, interesting, we have between worlds and I say interesting because, um, we also have at the bottom mending. So this definitely, um, screams of like someone trying to, um, rebuild, um, hmm. I'm hearing something about renovate, rejuvenate a relationship perhaps. For some of you guys, this has to do with a friendship. Huh. It's kind of like I'm hearing, are you in or are you out? So I don't know if someone is very wishy-washy. You're hot and you're cold. You're yes and you're no. I'm hearing that. And someone's getting a little bit tired of it. I don't know if uh, someone, oh, if someone um, kind of comes in, I'm hearing something about flighty energy. So if someone comes in like, you know, hey, how are you doing? And, you know, lots of um, conversation, love, kisses, hugs, miss you, um, having a good conversation. And then this part, it's ghosting. And then the person just disappears. Yeah. And someone's getting fed up for that with, with that. Hmm. Interesting. It says it's difficult for me to process my emotions. I'm not available right now. So whoever this flighty person is, they're just the reason that they're so flighty. The reason that they're so in and out is that this person might be kind of struggling with um, their own issues as far as just like, um, I don't know, I'm kind of getting the sense of like um, commitment issues. Someone has issues with commitment. For some of you guys, this is really strongly um, some type of friendship. You know, for some of you, it could have something to do with a relationship. So, you know, just kind of um, place yourself wherever it goes or, you know, however it, it is a relationship. But um, for a lot of you guys, this has to do with a friend, a close friend or someone. Um, I'm hearing, what about your friends? <laughs> So somebody wants like somebody wants to be your friend or someone is like they thought that you guys were friends or something like that. I'm hearing something about a solid foundation. So someone wants to start off with a strong foundation. They want to start off with a strong friendship. I'm hearing lovers and friends. So this could be for some of you guys, it's like a friend relationship, but they see you um, as more. But the issue is that, you know, um, one of you is kind of flighty in and out commitment issues. Yeah, at the bottom it says, my pride and ego got hurt, so I wanted revenge. I wanted to hurt you. So someone just feels like, um, someone's just like sitting in their ego right now. Someone um, is not answering a phone or text messages. Not because they don't want to talk to the other person, but because they, they're hurt. They're upset. Someone's not calling or, you know, something like that. Like, it's like, I refuse to be, like, I'm not reaching out this time, right? Someone's just kind of hurt there. Someone feels like the other person needs to put forth more effort. Someone feels like another person needs to prove um, that they really want to be in that other person's life. Yeah, it says, I feel alone and in the dark. Where's my light? Someone is feeling lost without another person. But I'm also getting, I'm hearing something about, but I have to teach them a lesson. So someone, whoever this is, this is the person that's not reaching out or not answering calls or something like that, but they feel like they have to stand their ground. I, I'm hearing I'm standing on business, right? Um, hearing something about walking all over me, like someone doesn't, someone feels like another person, um, just kind of, I'm hearing a pampered prince, <laughs> pampered princess right um this yeah someone feels like another person is just spoiled someone just wants princess treatment and oh but i feel like that person wants to give it to you but they just feel like i don't know it's some pride and ego thing this person is very um sexually attracted to 
um, the other person. I'm hearing something about the face card doesn't decline. This person thinks that another person is very beautiful, but it's really like as much as they love all of these things about the other person, they still feel like the person is spoiled, pampered, a little princess, and um, kind of always gets their way and they're wanting to, to, to uh, I'm hearing, baby, let me give it to you. <laughs> and they, they want to give in, but they feel like they just can't or this other person is gonna walk on them forever. These boots are made for walking and that's just what they do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. That's how they feel. Yeah, it says I'm distracting myself to avoid thinking of you. <laughs> this person is trying really hard, you guys. But I'm getting the sense of like, I'm hearing uh, Popeye the Sailor Man, um, until me can't stands no more, right? This person is, it feels like they're about to pop, they're about to explode, like they, they are, they're, I don't know how long, much longer this person is gonna be able to last. It says, I pushed you away because I don't want the responsibility. Like they feel like, you know, not that you don't deserve to be, I don't know if this is you or if this is the other person, but not. I'm going to just still say you. So not that you don't deserve to be spoiled and pampered and all of that stuff, um, but they feel like I'm kind of getting the sense of like they want to know that you just love or like them for them, whether they spoil you or not, but they do like spoiling you this person's a little bit confused um just let them work out whatever it is that they need to work out yeah i don't even know like you may not even remember who not that you won't remember who this person is but i don't get the sense that you're like sitting around pondering i'm hearing are you pondering what i'm pondering pinky you're not sitting around thinking about this person because um if this message is for you, Cancer, you know how we can be, right? Out of sight, out of mind. So if this person is not putting forth the effort to spoil you and treat you like the pretty, pretty princess that you are, right? Or the, you know, very handsome prince, you know, take it however it, uh, however it is, right? But um, then they're kind of, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. So, because at the bottom it says it's too late, I've moved on and uh, do not wish to reconnect. So, you may not even know who this person is. <laughs> I mean, you know who they are, but you, never mind. I'm just going to stop right there, you guys. If you enjoyed this message, it resonates, you liked it, whatever, be sure to um, tap, tap that like button, follow, leave a comment, share the video, all that good stuff. I love you and have a beautiful day. Bye.